Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. FileFinder, and welcome back to our special Butter Session Time series on accessibility options for the iPad and iPhone. In this segment, we're going to look at VoiceOver. To get to accessibility, tap on Settings, then on General, and then scroll down and tap on Accessibility. VoiceOver reads everything on the screen to you, so if you have a problem with vision, or perhaps if you just want to hear things read to you, you can turn this on. We'll tap that. Now you'll note that when I turn it on, it's going to start reading what's on the screen. VoiceOver on. Settings. VoiceOver. Accessibility. Back button. Now, with VoiceOver, if you want to select an item, you tap it. So, for example, the practice VoiceOver gestures down here, tapping it once, it tells me what it is, reads the title to me, and tells me that it's the button. If I want to select it and activate it, I tap it twice. Practice voiceover gestures. Button. Practice voiceover gestures. Practice gestures. Heading. So when tapping it twice, it activates the button, and we've gone to this practice gesture screen. If I just tap done. Done. Button. It tells me that done is the title and that it's a button. Voiceover. Accessibility. I tap it twice. Back button. Accessibility. It back takes button. me back. So with VoiceOver on, it will read. It'll tell you that you have seven emails. It'll tell you that you have five text messages. It will read you everything that's on the screen. And then when you tap something, it will tell you what that is, tell you if it's a button, a program, and so on. Turn it off. And it's turned off. So this is a great way for people with visual problems to have things read to them so they can know exactly what's on their screen. And anyone can use it to have your email read to you, text messages, and so on. Keep in mind, this is a multiple part series and be sure to watch all the parts.